What's up, Blueberries? My name is Alton Hilt. I'm an instructor and mentor at Dust University, a neutral learning corporation in CCP's first-person shooter, Dust 514, uh, a PS3 exclusive. And welcome to the first episode in a new series called Surviving Dust. This is a series that's really aimed towards the new player, somebody who's transitioning in from some other first-person shooter, or maybe even from EVE Online, uh, who's intrigued with the concept of the sandbox shooter that CCP is trying to build and wants to play better. I really feel compelled to try to build a, a tutorial series that works through the complexity that is Dust. As an EVE Online player, I got introduced to Dust back in closed beta. I started playing and it was a horrific experience for me. There's so much that was new, there was so much that was different that I found myself lost. And I tried playing, I tried having fun, and I ended up walking away. And then a couple months later, I came back and tried it again. I left Dust for about, probably about four or five months because I reached a point where I realized this sandbox shooter concept could never be realized in Dust 514 on the PS3. And I had my disillusionment period. And I eventually came back, started playing again. Well, that's kind of been my experience with Dust. I've come, I get good, I leave for a time, I come back and I feel like a noob all over again. But in the process of doing that, of going and coming back, I've had a lot of opportunities to know what it's like to be that new player. And so a lot of what I try to do for the students and the new players in Dust University is give them an insight into the tactics, the strategies, and the knowledge necessary to start playing Dust well even as a new player. And I really feel that this is successful. I can take these this sort of knowledge set and uh, start a new character and start running KD positive matches. It really comes down to the knowledge, knowledge of the battlefield, knowledge of how to approach it, of how to approach certain circumstances. And that's what Surviving Dust is going to try to teach you. Now, I'm breaking it down into three different mini-series. The first series will be a tutorial series, so we'll start with getting the game installed, move all the way through the Neocom, the skills, the marketplace, drop suits, fittings, uh, your skill plan, all the way till we reach the point where we're talking about how to maximize the amount of fun you have with Dust while you're learning these skills. The second mini-series is a learning guide series. There's a lot of information that isn't presented very well in the game about the drop suits, their strengths and their weaknesses. And so what we'll do is each episode will be themed around a particular topic. So we'll start with the drop suits, we'll move to the weapons, then we'll finish kind of rounding that out with the vehicles. And the idea is to give you and I an idea as to what you want to invest your skill points in, what the different flavors and varieties and strengths and weaknesses of all of these different things are. And finally, the third series will be tactics and strategies series. So we'll take a look at gameplay, we'll analyze it, we'll assess it. We'll figure out how to best approach certain circumstances, how to shape the battlefield in your favor. Now, just as a caveat, this sort of first person shooter concept that CCP has for this new Eden universe uh, is in transition. So Dust is their current iteration. But they've announced that in order to fulfill their vision of a sandbox shooter, they're going to have to move to the PC platform. And no plans yet, no announcements as to whether that'll eventually make its way to the PS4 or not. So if you're coming into Dust right now and you're a new player, play it for the experience now. Enjoy it now. If you spend money on it, spend it to enjoy it now. But as a free-to-play shooter, that's the great thing. You don't have to spend money. You can come in, you can pick it up, you can have some fun now. And hopefully we can have a better sandbox experience in the PC version. I know players like me, I want the sandbox shooter and I don't really, it doesn't matter to me where it ends up. I know a lot of players right now are going through that disillusionment period, but there's still new players coming into the game. And that's my advice. Just have fun for what it is right now. It'll be frustrating, there'll be a learning curve, and it'll be really challenging. But if you're like me, you love the challenge. You love the challenge of going up against players who are more powerful and just succeeding and winning when you're running just your basic equipment. So that's Surviving Dust in a nutshell. 
I hope you stick around. I think there's a lot of value to be had. Whether you're a new player or an old player, please feel free to comment, uh, leave your suggestions below, and I'll see you in the sandbox.